Evolucam Suzuki cross-coupling kit enables 32 simultaneous reaction conditions to efficiently and effectively identify the best catalysts for your coupling needs. Each kit comes with a manual that lists each of the catalysts and reagents, as well as their corresponding concentrations. The kits can be stored for up to one year under refrigeration. The manual also includes the standard protocol, which we will demonstrate in this video. Throughout this video, we'll be taking advantage of an Evolucam starter kit, which includes a reaction block able to hold 24 2 milliliter vials, 32.3 milliliter vials, and four 1 gram vials. The kit also includes one decapper for the crimped catalyst vials and a single 100 microliter syringe. Inside the box, the kit is in a vacuum sealed bag with a description of the reagents. There are eight catalysts included in the extended kit, which we have listed in the video and are identified by a labeled card and are individually labeled as well on each file. To open the kit, simply cut one end of the kit with scissors and slide the box that contains the vials. The kit comes with four different base solutions, cesium carbonate, sodium carbonate, potassium phosphate, and potassium carbonate. There are also four solvents available, DMF, butanol, dioxane, and acetonitrile. The catalysts come in four rows, all in 0.3 milliliter vials under inert atmosphere. They are capped and include a small stir bar. Each catalyst is labeled by row, as are each of the individual vials. Note that each of the catalysts have been pre-weighed and include a small stirring bar. For this demonstration, we're using DMF as our solvent. Each of the solvents in the kit have already been sparged and under nitrogen. The solvent is added to a boronic acid reagent and halogenated substrate to do the coupling. You will need to prepare 3.2 milliliters of substrate solution to test all 32 reaction conditions. So we're going to transfer 3.2 milliliters of DMF into the substrate. Place a standard nitrogen line into the solvent and then using a clean and dry syringe, draw 3.2 milliliters of DMF. Then transfer the nitrogen needle to the substrate to maintain pressure and transfer the 3.2 milliliters of DMF into the substrate solution. Once completed, place each of the catalysts from the kit into a reaction block. You can reference the identifier card to line up your catalysts as they are designed to work with the Evolucam reaction blocks. Make sure that your substrate is in solution and then transfer 100 microliters into the catalyst vials in the reaction block. Continue adding the substrate solution to each of the eight catalyst vials in all four columns. Now that the substrate solution has been added to all of the catalysts, there are four different base solutions that can be tested against the substrate solution. In the first column, we're using cesium carbonate and we'll transfer 30 microliters into each of the catalysts in the first column. Once completed, we'll use 30 microliters of the next base solution, sodium carbonate, and add that to the catalysts in the second column. From there, we'll continue this process for the next two bases until we have all 32 reaction conditions. Once the reaction conditions are prepared, place the block centered on a stirring plate and test that the stirring bars are engaged with the reaction vials. If you have any precipitation, remove the reaction vial and shake to break up any sediment. Set the reaction block to a stirring plate heater and set the desired temperature. After the reaction block has stirred the vials at temperature for 3 to 12 hours, you can remove each vial and remove the cap with a decapper to prepare an analytical sample of each condition. Use 5 microliter samples diluted into 200 microliters of DMSO or a 50-50 solution of water acetonitrile. 
Once each of the samples have been analyzed using the LCMS, it should be clear which reaction condition performs the best coupling reaction for your substrate solution. Evaluchem offers a variety of Suzuki screening kits, including the extended kit demonstrated in this video, as well as a standard kit with six catalysts. We also offer versions of these kits with solid anhydrous bases pre-mixed with the catalysts. Visit hepatochem.com to select the best kit for your needs.